because in mainstream media they've perpetuated this idea that um, it's something negative to be found mm -hmm. And so for much of my individual childhood, I grew up seeing no representation of my hair. And so of course I wished for long, blonde, flowing straight hair. But of course, you know, as, as, a, as a black African woman, that's not um, the ideal for me. And I realised that by accepting my own natural hair as it is, I am accepting myself. And it's part of my self-growth. So accepting and learning more about my roots and how to take care of my hair and what products it's, it's, it's um, compatible with is a, a step forward, not just physically for my hair, but mentally as well. Yeah. And Ask Derek, of course, his products are amazing and it's had such an incredible effect on my hair and I just feel uplifted um, because through those products and through research I've come to accept my hair in a much more positive light and I hope that future generations of black women and girls and black men and boys can do the same thing about their hair. And Isn't it wonderful, guys? This is this is a 19 year old no, no, no. British black Nigerian woman. Let's say Nigerian, Nigerian woman who understands the dynamic, who understands the politics, who understands the culture in relation to what happened to our hair. I mean, of course, but others may try going, they may try to suppress it, but you can't suppress this. Yeah. The,